Okay. <laughs> so, Pepe's books were mostly about the Philippines and the Filipinos. And it also showed how, I know, how bad the Filipinos were treated by the Spaniards. Thus, the Spaniards became mad at Pepe for know, writing about the truth. Even though I got mad at him while he read the Philly passage. Then she said, You have not spared anyone in your criticism, not even me. <laughs> and even though they were rich and they were also well known, they were not safe from injustice. With us, their first, their first. Their first trial was in 1872 when Lola, Lola got her imprisonment. Shortly and after Rizal went to Ateneo. Stupid woman. Rats! So, this is the story on how Lola got arrested. So, there in Calamba when her brother, say Alberto, who was back from Europe from a business trip, came back to Binyan only to find out that his wife had taken their children and left. Left the home. You know, just left the home. Yeah. He was so angry with her that he wanted to get divorced. So, Lola want, was wanting to convince the, the husband and the wife to get back together. But the woman, well, the wife, of, let's just call her Mrs. Jose. Or Mrs. Alberto, just Mrs. Jose. Na lang. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Alberto, okay, let's go. So, but Mrs. Alberto did not like this. No lies meddling. I don't think it was actually meddling though. And uh, no, a few days later, she finally went to the police and uh, no, reported that Lola had tried to poison her with her husband that her husband and Lola wanted was trying to poison her and Lola was arrested in Calamba and was made to walk in Santa in the to the jail of Santa Cruz. I think that's I think that's very far. I don't know. <laughs> and I uh, know poor old lady but and well yeah and mm, ano ba? well it was kind of it it gulaga <laughs> okay i do not know what else my <laughs> but it's creepy okay but uh, yeah so let's continue so, as a matter of fact, the, lo the man that had arrested Lolai and the judge that hold the case there, that hold the case, had a grudge against Kiko, her husband, her husband, and maybe that's why they were unusually harsh to her. But, um, yeah. So, then... The results had to like um, pay a lot for for Lola to get out of prison and all these payings, you know, all of them. They were they were they were they were you know, they were they were sent to the Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And slowly justice went to Lola. Even even though that she was already in jail for like 
over three years. Yeah.